Today we're going to be talking about destructuring JavaScript objects. You might be asking yourself exactly what is that? Well, it means to extract data from an object or an array. So for the first example, I'm going to be starting with an object. I'm also going to be using ECMAScript 6 classes. This will give you a great idea of what object-oriented code looks like and give us some practice writing that. So to get started with this example, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and create a person. For that person, I'm going to define several properties and define a name and a phone number. Then we're going to assign that name and phone number here. Equals phone. There we are. We've created a person object. That person object, let's go ahead and create a person. We'll create a person called Bruce and Bruce will be a new person. We'll give him a name, Bruce Banner. We'll give him a phone number, one, two, three. And then let's go ahead and extract some properties from Bruce. Let's go ahead and get that, that name off of Bruce. So we can say Bruce, let name equal to Bruce.name. We could say let phone equals Bruce.phone. And we've extracted the name and phone number from Bruce. We could then go ahead and use those variables to print them on the screen, but we wanna do here Instead of doing it this way, what we'd like to do is extract those properties by using destructuring. To do that, we define a let, and then inside curly braces, we define the properties that we want to extract, say name and phone. On the right-hand side, we give it the source object, the object that we're gonna be extracting from. So the object we extracted from is Bruce, and we grabbed his name and his phone number. So now we don't have to do it this way. We can get rid of that, comment that out. You can see this code is a little bit easier to read. It's one line of code, shows you exactly the properties that you're extracting. If you had say five properties that you're extracting, you would have five lines of code over here. With this destructuring way of doing it, you could just have one line. Another thing, once we get these variables over here, we could go ahead and print them on the screen if we wanted to. We say console.log and give it a name, console.log and give it the phone. If I were to take this code over here and go to my console here and paste it in, and then you can see that it prints on the screen Bruce Branner and one, two, three. Another thing that we could do as well though, we could decide, hey, we're extracting phone number over here, but I want to extract it into a variable called phone number like that. So on the left hand side, this is the property coming from our object, which is going to be phone coming from Bruce, which is a person and phone number over here is the thing that we grabbed. So we grab name over here and phone number over here. We'll come back over here. What we'll do is I'll just copy that code again. I will clear it paste and there you go same result because we're using phone number if i tried to use phone just there that wouldn't work you would get an error because phone isn't defined it would just be null there you go phone is not defined because we're using phone number we said hey take phone make it phone number variable instead so this kind of illustrates what destructuring is but to have a more concrete example well bruce banner kind of a superhero, he's an incredible Hulk. So we wanna create a person that has powers. And we're gonna do this in an OO way. So we could say powers is equal to powers over here. So when we create a person, we need to give it powers. And powers, we're not just gonna make an anonymous object. We're gonna go ahead and create a class. We're gonna create a class called superpowers. And superpowers, will have several different properties on it. One being has speed, has strength, has heat vision, is green, why not? And then we need to define these properties. So we pass them into our constructor. And once we pass them into our constructor, we need to do the same thing we did up here. But I'm gonna use a little trick to quickly create quickly create my uh, properties over here. I've, I've created these multiple cursors. I'll do this, copy that, equal, paste, and then semicolon, 
And there you go, hitting save, prettier reformats my code. I have another video that's two minutes long that kind of shows how I do this with my keyboard and how quickly I can create these constructors. So we've defined this object over here and superpowers. Now we need to give Bruce his superpowers. Otherwise, just a typical boring person. When he comes to the Hulk, he has his powers. So let's say let powers equal to new superpowers and then we define all the properties that we have in the constructor so has speed he does not have speed as a hulk he does have strength um does he have heat vision definitely not and is he green yeah if that's a power he definitely has that power of being green so now that we define these superpowers here we need to use them so let's give it over here to the person object to bruce oops right, there you go so as defined over here in our constructor, the person takes in power. So Bruce in turn takes in powers. Now down over here, let's go ahead and say that we wanted to extract these powers from Bruce. We could say let has strength is equal to Bruce dot powers, because that's where we want to get it from. And then dot has strength. And there you go. So what I'm going to do over here is I'm just going to copy this first part here. And if I wanted to do the rest of these variables, I want to say has speed is equal to Bruce has speed. I could say let has heat vision is equal to Bruce. Oops, I had that copy and pasted, but anyways, has uh, heat vision. And then let is green is equal to uh, Bruce is green. There you go. Kind of cumbersome, quite a few variables to extract. But instead, what I could do over here, instead of doing that, I could do destructuring. So with destructuring, I could say let, open up my curly braces, and then define the properties that I want to extract from there. Easy way would be to just copy and paste that, but I'll just show you over here. So if I go has speed, and these can be in any order. So it has strength, oops, has heat vision and is green. And we could say that we're gonna extract this on the right hand side from Bruce. So we're not extracting from Bruce because Bruce doesn't have those properties, but the powers object has it. So then we can extract these properties. As I mentioned before, what we could do is we could go ahead over here and decide that maybe we're going to extract a few of these properties. Maybe we're only really interested in extracting has speed, has strength, and is green. We don't really care about the heat vision and whatever our application's doing. And then once again, we could go ahead and print these variables out and consume them that way. If we wanted to, maybe instead of just saying is green over here, maybe we decide that that property name instead is just going to be green. So over here, we could say console.log green instead. And that would print out whether it's true or false. So there you go. That's how you extract or use destructuring with an object. Destructuring with array is another thing that you can do as well. So we mentioned that you can extract from an array. So for an array, I'll just come back over here to our uh, console, our uh, developer here, tools in uh, Chrome. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to define an array. I could say let items is equal to, and you can see I've already done this example before, but hello there, create another property, Adam, and another one that just says exclamation. So we have an array over here with three items in it. As you know, with an array, I could say item zero. What is that equal to? It's equal to hello. What is item one equal to? Well, it's equal to Adam, and item two would be equal to exclamation. I could go ahead and then in extract those variables. I could say let uh, greeting equal to uh, items zero like that, and that would be my greeting. And if I wanted to, I could print out my greeting and it says hello. I could say let name is equal to items and give it the second item in the list. And then that would be equal to my name over here. Uh, and much this is a little bit more cumbersome grabbing those variables. But if I wanted to, I could also use destructuring. So I'm just going to clear the screen over here. I'm going to redefine that array that we had. 
oops, let me do that again. Let me just clear the screen and we'll say, we'll just do this, let items equal to, and then I could do that. There's our array that we defined earlier. Now, instead of doing each variable at a time and saying let name is equal to item zero, instead, what I could do is I could say let, and then open up a square bracket, not a curly brace like we did before. And I could say let greeting and name. So I'm saying item name is gonna be equal to items. And basically what I've done here is I've said, hey, the first variable, item zero in the list, make that equal to greeting. Item one in the list, make that equal to name. The last item in the list, don't really care about it. I haven't added it to my um, destructuring over here. Then I could just print out greeting or I could print out name because those variables have been assigned. So the difference with array destructuring is we're just grabbing indexes and sticking them inside of properties or fields that we're defining. And we do it with square brackets. Object destructuring, as we saw, we use curly braces, and inside those curly braces, we decide which properties we want to extract from an object. And that's basically how destructuring works for objects and arrays.